नमो भगवते वासुदेवाय ओम 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 नमो भगवते वासुदेवाय प्रभावम प्रभावम पौरुषम पौरुषम राहु राहु कालम कालम एके एके यतो प्रभावं पौरुषं प्राहु कालमेकी जतो वयम् अहंकारो मिमुरस्या कर्तु प्रवृत्ति नियुसा तो the time factor is the representation of the supreme personality of God in the Bhagavad Gita. Uh, <clears throat> when Krishna manifested his Vishwaru, Arjun became very afraid of and inquired, Who are you? So at that time Krishna said, I am Kala. I have appeared to destroy. <clears throat> So Kala is representation time. We have discussed twenty-five elements, uh, <coughs> the ten Mahabhuta, uh, five Mahabhuta, uh, and five Sukha Bhuta, ten senses, twenty-four internal senses. <coughs> These twenty-four elements, and above that the kala, time fact. Hmm. 
That's all. The kala is destructive fact. Oh. We may have a defy the existence of God. Atheist class of man demands. They always defy. Who is God? I am God. But everyone is under the control of time factor. Uh, the time factor in due course will bring in death. So at that time, how one can deny the existence of God? Mrittu sarva harashtra hum. Krishna says that I am death, and my business is to take away everything. Mṛttu sarva harasya hum. <clears throat> so time factor will take away everything what we create with these twenty-four elements. <clears throat> so time is very strong, Karl. However, we may defy uh, the existence of God. The time factor is there. We have to accept it. And it is said, Kalameke Jato Bhayam. And because we are under the control of the time at the present moment in material existence, therefore, there is bhayam. Bhayam means ultimately death. Bhayam. Bhayam dityavi nibesatasya ishadapetasya vipadjaya smriti. The description of bhayam is given in the Bhagavatam. What is this bhayam, fearfulness? Bhayam ishadapetasya vipadjaya smriti. Those who have forgotten the Supreme Lord and have identified him, themselves with this material world, for them the fearfulness is there. But those who are uh, not in the material existence but in the spiritual existence, or spiritual life, or spiritual activities, for them there is no bhayam. Abhayam satta saṃsiddhi, in the Bhagavad-gītā it is said. Bhayam uh, uh, <coughs> is there, fearfulness is there, so long our existence is not purified. Then there is bhayam. And when existence is purified, then there is no bhayam, no fearfulness. Just like Prahlad Maharaj was put to so many uh, trials and tribulations by his father, but he was never afraid of. Oh. This is the uh, sign of spiritual advancement. Oh. Because so long I identify myself with this matter, there will be bhayam. And when I am out of this conception of material existence, when I understand that I am spirit soul, ahaṁ brahmāsme, then there is no more bhayam, no fearfulness. Brahma Bhuta Prasannatma Nasuchati Nakang. Uh, this is the symptom of Abhayam. Uh, therefore, Krishna's lotus feet is described Abhaya Charanara Bindare, Vaja Hure Mana Srinanda Nandana, Abhaya Charanara Bindare. If you take shelter at the lotus feet of Krishna, which is called avaya-charana, uh, no more bhayam. 
bang bang diti ami ni beshat when so long we think that i am something of this material existence there will be bhayam and when we realize that this material existence is superficial i have nothing to do with it asangayam uh, purusha i have no connection with it then there is no bhay no fearfulness <coughs> so this kala is past present and future trikala uh, kala is exhibit, exhibited in three features past present and future that is in the material existence uh, and if one becomes above the three kalas Uh, in the eternal time, time is eternal, but in the material existence there is past, present, and future. In the spiritual existence there is no past, no future, only present, only present. Everything a phrase, present. Nitta uh, navayavan, only feelings, new, new. Uh, That is spiritual existence. Ananda amudi vardhanam, only present, no future, no past. That we cannot realize now, but we can get the knowledge from Vedic literature. Uh, the time factor in the material world, there is past, present, and future. Otherwise. Time factor is eternal. <coughs> so, pravam purusham prahu kalo. So, we have to feel the influence of the supreme personality of Godhead in this time factor. We cannot deny, because in due course of time, according to the time factor. Everything will be finished. Uh, everything will be finished. The present existence will be finished, and then we'll have to accept another existence. This is all due to the time. Uh, <coughs> time is over. Then one body is changed into another. Uh, so this is the influence of time. Uh, nature is working under the influence of time. And the time factor is uh, um, uh, enforcing the influence of the supreme personality of God. Therefore, it is called prabhavam purusham prabhu kal. Uh, this is the influence. You have to abide by the influence of time. That means influence of the supreme personality of God. However, you deny just like uh, crazy fellow. They think that I have uh, nothing to do with government laws, but uh, the influence of government uh, must be felt uh, when he is arrested and put into the jail. Similarly, by time factor, we may do something now without. Any fear, uh, but time factor will place me in the fearful condition without any fear. <clears throat> so, hankar uh, vimulas. We are now vimula. Now, when we say <coughs> that these mudras, they become angry. But actually, this is the verdict of the shastra. So long you are within the time factor, within the material nature, you are bimura. We are all bimura. Ahankara bimuras, bimurasa, and the same thing is expressed in the Bhagavad Gita. Ahankara bimuratma karta ham iti mannati. Nobody is karta. Uh, here the prakriti is karta. Uh, just like when you are under the influence of some contaminated disease, at that time 
that disease, infection is karta. You are not karta. That is our practical experience. When you are in high fever, then your so-called and mastership is gone. You are under the mastership of the feverish condition. Similarly, uh, we, spirit soul, although we are better in quality than the material element that is described in the Bhagavad Gita, aparāyam itastu vidhime prakitiṃ parā, jīva bhūta, the jīva or living entities, uh, a, they are in better quality than the material elements, but still uh, on account of his vipajaya uh, smriti, forgetting God, we are leading a different type of civilization or different type of life. Therefore we have been subjected to the influence of time. This is Krishna's or God's influence. Just like in the prison life we are subjected to the rules and regulation of the prison house on account of disobeying the government laws. Similarly, when we are disobedient to the laws of God, at that time we are put into this material existence under the influence of time, and therefore our conditional life is always fearful. Everyone is thinking differently. All living entities. Uh, somebody is thinking I am uh, Indian, somebody is thinking I am American, Hindu, Muslim, Christian, uh, black, white. Uh, so many ways we are thinking. Before joyous smriti. Our real identity is when we understand that I am not Hindu, not Muslim, not Christian, not American, not uh, Indian. But I am eternal servant of Krishna. Then there is no more fear. Uh, that is fear. Bhaja hure mana sinanda nandana abhaya charana. Therefore, the Vaishnava poet advises that you take to uh, the shelter of the lotus feet of Krishna. Abhaya charana ravinda. Just be engaged in the devotional service of the Abhaya Charan, Krishna's. <coughs> then your existence will be purified and you will have no more fear. Brahma Bhuta Prasanna. You will be. This material life, so long we are conscious of this material existence, we are always fearful, full of anxieties. Tasad manne suravadya dehina sadas hamudvigna dhyam asad graha. The more we will possess asad bastu, asad bastu means the material things, there will be more anxiety. Therefore, according to Gauriya Vaishnava principle, Chaitanya Mahaprabhu's life, and his next uh, disciple, the Goswami's life, is to completely get free from any material position. Vairāgya, ah. Vairāgya vidya. This spiritual life, uh, therefore in Bharatvarsa, in India, you'll see big, big kings, they give up their kingdom, their opulent life, wife, children, and become a mendicant, a beggar. Not beggar, but renounced everything. Uh, this Bharat Varsha uh, is un- under the name of Maharaj Bharat. His life is described in the Srimad Bhagavatam, fifth canto. 
how he gave up his wife, children, kingdom, everything, and he lived alone in the forest, Kulastha Paulaha Ashram. But still Maya is so strong, he became attached to a small deer. And for that reason he had to wait for his liberation three lives. So the spiritual life is very uh, delicate. We have to conduct the spiritual life very cautious. Little deviation may create great havoc. Great havoc means again material. And material life means suffering. Always in fearfulness. Uh, so long we are in this material life, there must be fearfulness. Uh, that is described here. Uh, so long you are wrapped up within these twenty-four elements uh, under the influence of time factor, then you will have to feel fearfulness. Although actually by constitutional position you have no fear. Every one of us we know, not everyone, at least those who are little advanced in understanding Bhagavad-gītā, the ABCD of spiritual knowledge, at least theoretically one knows that he is not this body. But still, when the body is in danger, we become fearful. Because we are existing in this material environment. Bhayam dityavinivi satasya. So, in order to get out of this fearful situation of life, that is material life, if we take shelter, at the lotus feet of Avaya Charanara Vindare, Krishna, uh, uh, then this uh, bhayam element, fearfulness element, will be uh, completely uh, need. Uh. <coughs> so, ahankara vimuratma katta, uh, our identification, false identification, uh, the four subtle senses. Mon buddhi ahankar chitta, consciousness. So when the consciousness is materially absorbed, then there is fear. And uh, when the consciousness is pure, consciousness pure means Krishna consciousness. Uh, I am eternal servant of Krishna. Then there is no way. Uh, the more we advance in Krishna consciousness, no, the more we become free from fearfulness. <coughs> Therefore, Prahlad Maharaj advises, Hityatma ghatam grihanda kupam banangato ja primasraya. The real uh, position of fearlessness is harim asraya. Take shelter of hari. Hari means who takes away all subjective uh, things of fearfulness. Uh, that is Hari. He takes away all our miserable condition of life. Hari. Hari Mahasraya. Tat sadh manne suravadya dehina sada sabhumdi vigna dhyam. Asat graha. We have accepted the asat. These twenty-four elements, as described before, as identification with me, asat, uh, they are not permanent, temporary situation, changing one after another. Uh, so, asat graha, sada samudvigna dhyā, always full of anxiety. What will happen next? Uh, what will happen next? You'll see even a small insect, birds, bees, 
human being, animal, even elephant, tiger, lions, everyone is fearful. Uh, there cannot be any fearlessness in this material existence. Uh, even big nation, American nation, they are also fearful of the Russian. Uh, and the Russians are fearful of the Americans, you can see. The whole political field, uh, our Indians are fearful of Pakistan, Pakistan is fearful. This is material existence. Uh, you cannot avoid it unless you take shelter uh, at the lotus feet of Krishna. Uh, Krishna assures Angtva Sarvapavi Bhavamukhaishami Mahasucha. He gives shelter and assurance there. Don't be afraid of. When you have taken shelter of me, then there is no cause of fear. Samasita ji padapallavam plavam mahat padang punna jasu murari bhavam budhi vassa padang parang padang 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 jad vipadang nati sa. This material world is padang padang vipadang, only danger. Every step there is danger. That's a fact. So if we take shelter of that avaya charanaravinda, then we have no fear. This is a fact. (coughs) Avayam satta saṅsuddhi. Satta saṅsuddhi, our existence when it is purified. So this bhakti marga, a devotional service, is a is the process of purifying, uh, purifying process. Sinnatāṁ sakatāk krishna punna savana kītana riddhantastha avadrāṇī vidhunati suhi satāṁ. Satāṁ, those are devotees. Uh, they are simply engaged in Krishna consciousness. This Krishna consciousness begins Sinnatāṁ sakatā Krishna. Simply these centers are created to give chance to the people in general to hear about Krishna. Sinnatāṁ sakatā Krishna. Because as soon as we hear about Krishna attentively and try to assimilate it, then the Purification of the heart begins. Chita darpana marjanam bhava mahadabhagni nidbhapanam sriya kairava chandrika vitaranam vidyavadhu jivanam anandam budivardhanam pratipadam purnam mitaswadhanam param vijayati sri krishna saṅkīrtanam. So sri krishna saṅkīrtanam is so nice. It has no expenditure, no loss, simply gain. If you kindly hear Sri Krishna Sankirtan, if you cannot chant Sri Krishna, the holy name of Krishna, if you are so reluctant, or if you cannot, because to chant Hare Krishna Mantra, that also requires little fortune. Ahavato sapachato pigariyana jajji bhagre namatu bham. Anyone who is chanting uh, on, the, on the top of his tongue where there is name, holy name, he is gariyan, sapachopi. Even though he is born in low grade family, the dog eaters, it is still gariyan. Ahavato sapachato pigariyan. So, in this Kali Yoga, uh, if you simply chant, or uh, if you cannot chant, because that requires little fortune, if we simply hear, that will also help us. Uh, so, these centers are meant for chanting and hearing about Krishna. Simply this process, chanting and hearing, will purify our existence. Sinnatāṁ sakatā kṛṣṇa punna savana kīrta. It will increase piety of life, punna savana kīrta. 
anyone who is hearing and one who is chanting, both of them. Sravana Kirtan, this is the beginning. So, Sannatāṁ śrata kṛṣṇa panna sravana kītaṁ We become purified. This is purificatory process. Sarvapādhi vinir muktam tat paratena nirmalam. Nirmalam means purification. Uh, on account of impure life, we are embarrassed with so many designations. Uh, impure life. Uh, so we have to become designationless. Uh, no designation. Sarvapādhi. I am not Hindu, I am not Muslim, I am not Christian, I am not uh, Brahman. This is designation. Uh, so even Sannyasi, Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, therefore, Nahang Vipra Nachanadapati, Jyutidva. He described himself, no, I am not Khatri, I am not Brahman, I am not Sannyasi, I am not Griyastha, I am not Vaishya, simply negation. Uh, he simply said, uh, Gopi Bhattu Padakamalu, Dasu Das, I am the servant of servant of servant of the uh, <coughs> Gopi Bhattu, the maintainer of the gopis, Krishna. So that is pure life. Uh, when we think like that, that we are no more servant, nāyaṁ kinkara, uh, that is, uh, what is called, indemnifying this contaminated existence of material life. Uh, simply identify as servant of the Supreme Lord, then you become purified, designationless. Sarvapāthi vinin muktam tat paratena nirmalam rishikena rishikesa sevanam bhakti richa. Bhakti means when you are designationless, purified in Krishna consciousness, then when your senses are purified, the senses are no more material. Uh, in our contaminated state, our senses are acting in designation. I am uh, Indian, I have to work for India. The, the others must go out of India. Or others are thinking, now your visa is finished, now you can go out, you cannot stay here. This is all due to designation. De- but real life is designation, less. Uh, the United Nations is working, but there is not, they are not working on the platform of becoming designationless. They want to keep the designation. Uh, they are struggling there to become united for the last twenty years. Uh, and the, we have seen in New York, the United Nations Center, only the flags are increased. Uh, because the, uh, unless one becomes designation less, no designation, there cannot be any unity. Unity is possible on the spiritual platform, not in the material platform. Material platform means, uh, I am envious of you, you are envious of me. Uh, Matsarata means matsarata para utkarsa asahanam. When I cannot tolerate others increasing in opulence, I become envious. This is material life. Spiritual life is different. Spiritual life means if somebody has advanced in spiritual life, and somebody, one who is still in the neophyte stage, he'll eulogize how, how fortunate he is. He has advanced, he is serving Krishna in such a nice way. Uh, when I can get that position, there is no enviousness. That is glorifying. Uh, that is the distinction between material life and spiritual life. Spiritual life means enviousness how to kill you, how to stop you. But a spiritual life means to see you advancing, one becomes happy. 
uh, have opportunities. This is spiritual life. Therefore, spiritual life is meant for a person who is completely not envious. Uh, that is spiritual life. Paraman nirmasanana satam vastava vastu vidya matra dharma projita kaita vatra. This Bhagavad Dharma is meant for the person Paraman in Masa, Paramahamsa. He is not envious of every, anyone. Śrīda sarvade hinā, we have discussed this word in Kapil De Sāṅka Bhilajar. Sādhu, Sādhu is Śrīda sarvade hinā. Sarvade hinā means all living entities in all forms of life. That is called Sarvadehina. I am for Indians and not for the Englishman or the American. Or I am for the human being, I am not for the cows and goats. They should be sent to this latter house. These things are happening on account of no Krishna consciousness. Uh, uh, limited, uh, crippled ideas. And it is going on in the name of philanthropism, nationalism. Communism, this ism and that ism. These isms will not help us unless you come to the platform of Krishnaism. The everything belongs to Krishna. Ishava Samidam Sadvam. Practical. If we accept the United Nations is working so hard, but they cannot make that the whole world belongs to all living beings. Then immediately it will be, all questions will be solved. I was discussing this evening. There is so much land still uncultivated. And if the overpopulated people are allowed to go there and cultivate and grow their food grains, ten times of the living entities on this face of the globe can be fed without any difficulty. Annan, Bhavanti, Bhutan. So everything is there. But we don't accept. Under designation, we are fighting. Under designation, under ignorance, we are fighting, we are forgetting Krishna. Therefore, our miserable condition, boy, fearfulness, bhayang dityari nivisa, isadapita sab vipadjayasmita. Vipadjaya Smriti is just opposite, understand. Everything belongs to God. Ishāvaśyamidam sarvam. Huh? That's a fact. Huh? But I am thinking it is my land. Ahaṁ amayati janasya mohoyam ahaṁ amayati. Nothing belongs to us. Everything belongs to Krishna. If we accept Krishna, the center, and you work under His direction, as it is said in the Bhagavad-gītā, our life is successful, our whole program is peaceful, all tranquility, everything is there. Thank you very much.